really quickly the stream is a little bit late today by about actually isn't this the time I usually tell I have on my schedule for actual streams let me see Zareth Mortis um, the dual logs is live hello there the dual logs how's it going it says I stream at 10 p.m. Oh, so I'm only 40 minutes late. Hmm. Hi, Mr. Logs. Hello there. Here, let me, uh... Hello... There, Mr. Logs. Let me chat on my other account. So I can make it a mod. There we go. Count created November 28th, 2013. Wow, this channel is way older than this one. Alright. Fashionably late. So I have a good reason why I'm late. What happened was... Rosemi was streaming a little bit later today than normal. And it just ended like five minutes ago. So anyways, let's go into the deck. So, Morphine Jar Mill, or Empty Jar as it's more known as, revolves around flipping up Morphine Jar up and down over and over in order to melt your opponent. I deck tested this yesterday on Edo Pro. I crafted all the cards for it earlier today, except for two copies of Magical Stone Excavation because I'm not wasting materials on two copies of this card. Well, you have a set time to stream? Yeah, apparently according to my schedule, I stream every day at 10 p.m. except Sunday. Because Sunday is D&D &D day. Also, I really shouldn't stream on Saturday so I can just take the whole day off. But I do anyway. Actually, what time does it say that I stream on Saturday? It says I stream at 9 p.m. on Saturday. Mm. Okay. Scroll down, it's set to your time zone. Yeah, I have like... So, on Twitch, they allow you to have three specific widgets. And one of the three slots I use is for a schedule. So that it'll automatically... Uh, I don't know, I think just the schedule looks better than the other one. Because they also have a schedule, like, built into the thing, so you don't have to use up one of your three widgets for it. But I think this one looks better. And, like, what am I going to use the other ones for? The other one I'm using for the sound bites. And I know how much you guys love those. Uh, I don't really have a third one. I was using that one with a uh, voice mod, but I don't... But voice mods being annoying... <laughs> so I disabled it. I love the crafting function for Master Duel. Yeah, so do I. It allows me to make whatever I want. Okay. Let's go deck test this. We go over to the duel. No more T-Pain voice. It's just disabled for now, but I also might not turn it back on because while it was available, it wasn't used very often. Like, um, the only thing you guys really use are stuff that uses channel points. That one is set specifically for bits. It's forever on the Eclipse Logs. The deck of books. Yeah, this is your guys' favorite deck. It has nothing but, like, Book of Moons in it. I didn't notice your schedule. Yeah, it's uh, every day at 9 or 10. I was planning on streaming earlier today, but I kind of forgot about Rosamie's stream. And I didn't think it would take so long. Hmm. Hmm. Here it is. I'm distracted. I got streamer brain. You guys are, are chatting, and I keep reading chat. So, as I'm sure you guys have all heard the news already, something big is going on, and I'm here to tell you 
that, uh, no. I will not be part of Coder's subathon tomorrow. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, so this hand sucks. <laughs> pop into Rosemary Sharon once in a while and I always see you. It's not like I plan my days around Rosemary streams, but if I'm not doing something important, I will definitely stop what I'm doing to watch her streams. I have had to miss a couple of them. Hey, thanks for the sub, Necro. I have had to miss a couple of them because I was doing other things that were planned at the same time. But for the most part, I watched pretty much all of them. Oh, I thought he meant... What? What are you guys talking about? Is there anything else important going on right now? I guess there's the Ruchia thing, but I'm pretty sure most of you people aren't here or aren't Hololive fans. Ooh, as long as he has no disruption, I'm good. I don't think Doolongs is going to get... Well, I mean, one of the rules is no politics. So, of course not. The Ruchia thing. Yeah. I've never seen a Rosemi stream. I'd recommend it. The Ruchia thing was surprising as well. Yep. Elder Lich the Golden Lord. Let me bring out my Performer Pal Damage Juggler. You... Butthole. I've seen clips of you donating, though. Did people make clips of me donating to her? I rarely donate on the main channel. Because... Like, part of my job is through donations. So it always just feels awkward to, like, donate to other people. I'm using my public face. There's one? What is your Discord? Yeah, you donated and someone clipped it? Are you sure someone just didn't do a clip and my donation was happens to be in it, or did someone actually clip the donation? Rosemi makes clips of you donating? I'm sure she has better things to do. What's good, Mr. Chat and Logs? Yeah, what's good? What's the most you've donated? I think I sent a $100 one during her first Yu-Gi-Oh stream. And even that one was like, I really shouldn't do this. Your donation was highlighted. They zoomed in on it. Let me see. If there's actually a clip, it should be easy to find. I see nothing. What deck do you think Ruchia would play? Eldlich. I found it. What's the what's the name of the clip? And I'll look it up. Like uh just type in the, the full name of the, the YouTube video. First stream? My two favorite decks? <gasps> Empty Jar and Skywolf? 
called Rosami finds out the truth about Yu-Gi-Oh. All right, I'll look this up. Rosami finds out the truth about Yu-Gi-Oh. That's it. Oops, that's nothing. Rosemi has a no, I doubt that. Hello, Mr. Logs. Hello there. I have like a, a secret. Or I guess I should say private social media accounts. <laughs> and the only thing I do on them is like... Retweet, uh, VTubers. <laughs> that way I don't, uh, bother the people on my main accounts. I think it's just a regular clip. Yeah, it's just a regular clip. I started watching Rosami and now I'm hooked? Good. Sup, nerd? Oh, it's Fell Plague. Okay, we set this. Hopefully, he doesn't have. Um... Oh, wait. Hopefully, he doesn't have Skill Drain, otherwise, I'm gonna be sad. He definitely has disruption for this. Imperial Order. At least it's not skill drain. When did the pogger price increase? I increased it because you guys spam it too much. That means it's too easy for you. <laughs> Can't let you destroy the jar. Poggers. It only increased by 250. It's still cheap. Solemn judgment. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Look at this chain! This interruption chain! Let me take a chance to see if Duolog is streaming. I always stream at night. Sometimes it just... I'm a little... I stream a little bit later at night than normal. That's it. They didn't destroy Morphing Jar? Are you crazy? A and D changer. We flip up. Morphing Jar! Nice, nice. Danger Mothman. Oh my god, seriously? I hit the Mothman? You've gotta be kidding me! Okay. Imagine spending half your life points and they get Book of Moon. I know, right? That's exactly what he did. Okay, good. I didn't hit the one damn danger in my hand like last time. 6900? Ah, yeah! Torrential Tribute? Okay. I think that's game over. Funny thing is, I still could have did it. I could have played through all that disruption. I think this version of the deck isn't half bad if I was still able to keep going after that. Oh wow, the sad violin was really uh, delayed. I have to forget there's more than three danger monsters. Oh my god, there's so many of them. 
You guys are wild. Prediction is up for the next match? Okay. I'm never going to get above 900 channel points. There's too many people in here with too many points. That's because I stream every day now. I forgot to put my uh, thing to charge. Whoa. Okay. What is my opponent doing? Nothing? Cool. Alright, so... If I normal summon... Crusadia Draco. I can special summon... Hat Tricker. And then I can go into the Gallant Granite. Missed the gamble because I didn't appear in my chat. <gasps> I'm so sorry. Okay. <laughs> then Morphing Jar. And then on my next turn, we can set the card and do other things. Let's go into the battle phase. Oh no, it's blue eyes! Hmm... If I set a card, I'm basically asking for Spirit Dragon to kill me. Oh, I should put Zeus in this deck. I could go into Zeus right now. Um, let's just end it here. It's morphin' time. On my next turn it is. So the Crusader card just for free specials, are they another use? The deck is full of level 4 monsters that can special summon themselves from the hand. But like, on hard ones per turns. Because monsters that can special summon themselves from the hand that are level 4 have all kinds of crazy restrictions or archetype specific locks. So I'm just playing a whole bunch of level 4 monsters that only have... That don't have those things but have hard ones per turns on them. So the Crusadias are, are there for that. That's why I'm playing Triple Hat Trigger, because it's one of the few level 4 monsters that can just unconditionally special summon itself from your hand as long as you meet the condition. Which is just two more monsters on the field, which is super easy to meet. I wish like, my whole deck could just be Hat Triggers, and this deck would be amazing. Yep, Hat Trigger, no hard ones per turn, that's why I love him. Someone remind me to add Zeus to this deck. Finally caught you live? Is it because I stream really late at night? I remember when I first tried to stream on Twitch. I was like, I'm gonna stream in the morning, I'm gonna stream in the morning before work, and then I'm gonna do my work at night, and then uh, that's how I'll do my things, and it turns out I'm not a morning person at all. So the couple of streams I did in the morning, I was just tired the whole time, when I had my morning voice, which I could not. I didn't know that I had a morning voice until I did those streams in the morning. <laughs> so I just sounded like, hey guys. It's me, the dual logs. I sound slightly more monotone than normal. But this is my morning voice. And I literally can't raise it if I try. Because I just am not a morning person. So I moved them all to tonight. And it's worked it out a lot better for me, even if it is inconvenient for uh, going to sleep. Ad time? I increased the cost of ad time. How are you guys redeeming this? Okay, I'll play the ad. Rip EU times? Yeah. Have you seen the hack decks? I saw the video on it, but I haven't gone against any yet. Do people still tell you that you have a great voice for ASMR podcast because it's so smoothing? Yeah, people tell me that a lot, but I don't believe them. 
I'm still waiting on Duel Lights to play Rose Dragons and Aki as a mascot. I will eventually. Here, you better win this match so that the 9% wins. He didn't destroy Gallant and Garnet? Um, I'm super winning this match. What are you kidding? Are you kidding me? Unless he has some form of disruption on my, uh, my dude. Select a monster to detach. Special summon Morphing Jar from the hand. And I need to get A and D changer into the grave, so... We'll go into, um... Nightmare Phoenix to get rid of that back row card. The jar is live! Exactly! We get rid of Maximus, send this card to the graveyard. Which is a magic jammer. Okay. Wait, before I do that. No. A and D changer. We banish that, flip this face up. Morphing jar, and then we chain Book of Eclipse to Morphing Jar so that he draws two cards at the end of the turn. Magic jammer, yeah, that is wild. Morphing Jar! Excellent! Okay, so I have another flip right here. We'll flip Morphing Jar face up. Okay. Ooh, I have a Foolish Burial. I can use this to send an A and D changer to the grave. Um. Okay, now what I need to do... Oh, Nemesis Corridor. I can use Nemesis Corridor to return A and D Changer to the graveyard and then bring him out into attack position. Activate Book of Moon to flip him down. And then I'm going to use Danger Mothman to hopefully special summon it. Well, it was a 50-50 chance. Oh, that's pretty good. Not half bad. Why didn't you set before Jar? Uh, you can't set quick plays. A and keep them. I guess I could have set it... I, I plan on winning this turn. Like, this is a, a winning strategy. I'm not trying to, to lose here, you know? Okay, and then I'll Magical Stone Excavation, uh, discard Mothman, Monster Reborn, grab back a Book of Moon, okay, and then Book of Taiyu, we flip up Morphine Jar, and then I chain Book of Moon to Morphine Jar's effect to flip them back down again. I need to do this uh, four more times, and I win. Excellent! Ooh, card destruction! Okay, so I just need to flip it up. If I flip it up now, let's set instant fusion. Let's set card destruction, because that gives me a free flip. And I'll use A and D changer to flip it up this time. To all the non-believers. You guys think I'm not going to win? You crazy. I have full combo. Instant fusion is another flip. Because I can go into Raijin. They don't have Ash. Apparently not. Okay. White stone of... Ooh. Ooh. Two white stones, huh? That's perfect. Okay, so I'm going to set this. I'm going to special summon Dynanthrism. Ooh. 
It's going to allow him to special summon a monster. Your opponent targets one level 4 lore monster in either graveyard and they special summon it. It doesn't matter which card he gets back. So Morphin Jar Flip Effects is on stack. You can use quick play spells. Yep. Yeah. You can uh, you can chain quick play spells to its effect. Why is it not called Book of Sun? Is that what Taiyu means in Japanese? <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna try to get Chupacabra on the field. Nice! I got Chupacabra out. Excellent! So, oh, he didn't add any of the cards? Oh, I was using card destruction for no reason then. Okay, well, I can card destruction now. Uh, ooh, Trick Clown is live? I thought I used his effect already. Nice. Select another card? No. So the reason I love level 4 monsters is because it gives me other ways to flip my cards face up. Change that monster face down. No, this is the one that flips it face up. Okay, so I can go into Boral Guard Dragon. Since the card is already face down, I think it's probably best to save it because I still have an A and D changer in the grave. So I'll just use this now. Use this to flip Jar face up. Fuck! I forgot about my deck! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! I had... I had Pot of Avarice face down. I forgot to use it! Oh my god. You've been demoted a rank? Shut up. You guys shut up. <coughs> you guys uh, shut your faces. I need to put a delay on these emotes. You guys spam them too much. Looks like the 99-1% were right. I'll win this time, just you watch. Wow, you guys are a bunch of jokers. Please tell me that's getting clipped. Heck no, I'm gonna tell my clippers, don't clip that. Just to, to spite my chat. Played yourself? You played yourself. So I can add Morphine Jar to my hand. I probably should have used Mothman first. Okay, so if I hit anything except for Morphine Jar and Book of Taiyu, I have full combo. You better upload this to YouTube? No. I'm gonna tell my clippers don't up don't clip that. I'm too late, I clipped it. <coughs> okay, that's an acceptable outcome too. Oh my god, seriously? A mothman into a fucking mothman? Mm. Oops, I said a cuss word. What card did he send to the grave? Lost World? I have to try it. I need to hit Book of Eclipse. Book of Taiyu? Okay, that's bad for me. Unless I get another one. Ah! Oh. Frick. Maxi? That was a little bit late. Uh, Gallant Granite can summon the card from my hand, but then I can't flip it. <laughs> Damn it, I needed that book of Taiyu! 
I don't know what to do. Can heroes compete in plat one? Of course. Once they get DPE. Should have added Zeus. That's what I was saying. Someone remind me to add Zeus after this. I'll just stall out with Book of Eclipse. Book of Eclipse works as long as he doesn't have Miscellaneous Source in his hand. I think you mean once every deck gets DPE. Exactly. Hey, thank you, Mex. As Heroes Manager, part of my job is making sure to interact with the community, especially if it means dunking a hunt. That's true. Part of his job is to interact with the, the community. But his job is to interact with the WoW community, though. Cosmic Cyclone? Whatever. I have another one. Miscellaneous Source? Is it? It's only monster effects, right? When it's activated effects. Fuck. Miscellaneous source. Well, I'm ham boned. Do you stream WoW content? Occasionally. <laughs> Mods are supposed to bully the streamer. Are you a mod if you don't bully the streamer? So much for non believing. Which game do you prefer? The only games I play are World of Warcraft, Yu-Gi-Oh, and Dungeons and Dragons. I don't play anything else. Are you considered even a real gamer if you only play two games and nothing else? Marry me duologues? Okay. As long as you're a big-breasted goth girl. Wait, someone requested Spin the Punishment Will? Huh. Um... Okay. New merch? Would you like to add your merch to the store? No. I don't have merch. Okay. Spin the wheel. Uh, I forgot to put the wheel on screen. What does that say? I can't read that. Chat picks a better deck. Seriously? Again? We're gonna have to wait until after this duel. One more time? No, nope. it's chosen. I pick full jar. <laughs> Feet deck. You said that last time? Butter spry turbo? I need proper suggestions. This is exactly how the clips... <laughs> Wasn't that one of the clips from today? Or was it yesterday? I think it was yesterday's clip. Mech Knight Invoked, Harpy Deck, Feet Deck, Play Noble Bed Eater Deck, Invoked Fairy Tale, Lore Accurate Ojamas, Feet Girl Deck. What would even be a Feet Girl Deck? Inferno Tempest, Invoked Fairy Tale, Amazement Musketeers, All Cards. With girl feet in them, duh. Dalkia. Come on, enter the battle phase. Enter the battle phase. Do it. Do it. Zombie world trains. 
Luster Soldier? I there's so many different ones, I have no idea how to like filter your guys out. Vampire sucker. And skull servants. Ooh. I like skull servants. Assault mode? I don't have the assault mode cards. Battle phase. It's no longer the main phase, so Book of Eclipse works now. Ha 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 ha! Get crunked. <laughs> Spellbook OP. Freebo isn't strong enough to destroy Morphine Jar. He has 600 defense. Lore accurate pot deck. You didn't draw any cards? Oh, Pot of Extravagance. Ooh. Final Countdown? Hmm. I mean, I could make a Final Countdown deck. Basically, all we do is just add it to one of my life point game mill decks. Forbidden Chalice. <laughs> I'm gonna do what's called a pro gamer move. <laughs> what a top deck. Oh my god. That was amazing. Oh my goodness gracious. So... I didn't draw into any Book of Taiyus. But that's fine. Because my deck is prepared for this. What I need to do... Oh wait, the card that flips him up. Oh no, it requires four cards on the field. Hmm, Jet Synchron can get me enough materials for that. Okay, and then... Damage Juggler. And then, I don't really want to waste my normal summon on Synchron. So what I need to do is... This card flips monsters face down. Um, let me double check, make sure I have... Okay, I have Halky Fibrax in here. I don't have any other tuners in my deck, now that I'm thinking about it. Okay, that's not gonna work. Um... Hmm... Hmm, I don't have any other tuners in this deck, right? Let me double check. Uh, empty jar. I think I forgot to add other tuners to the deck. I'm pretty sure Jet Synchron is literally the only tuner in this deck. Okay, yeah, so that's not gonna matter. Jet Synchron. Check your graveyard? No. So I need to go into a Boral Guard Dragon so I can flip my card face up. Boral Guard Dragon. Dead Halky Fibrax. Yeah, it is a dead Halky Fibrax. <gasps> I have something in the grave? Jet Synchron, neat. Okay, and then I can use his effect. Luckily, this is spell speed 4, so he can't negate it. And then I can flip up my Morphing Jar. I've never seen one play this Boral. It's only really good in uh, this deck. Miscellaneous Source? Yeah, that's not going to do anything. Morphing Jar. Okay, that's nice. Alright, Crusadia Avermax. And Pot of Avarice, I should probably use this now, so I don't deck out. I can save it. I don't need it. Okay, and then we'll activate the Phantom Knights. Alright. So, I can Book of Moon now. To flip it face down. And then I don't have a way to flip it back up. 
so I have to use this. So let's return Didant. Oh no no, we really want Hat Tricker back in the deck. Mothman. Dynanthrys, I don't think I've spummed him this turn, and then I'll just return this card. Maxi? Okay, that's bad. Oh no. I can't believe I'm gridlocked on just getting a monster on the board. Okay. I can still do this. I can use this to add a hat tricker or trick clown. Hmm. Uh, if I discard two with magical stone excavation, do I have a book of Taiyu in the grave? I do, okay. I can do that in order to get hit trick clown in the grave. Okay, and then I'll use Stone Excavation now. Discarding these two. Adding back Book of Taiyu. Okay. Activate Trick Clown. Uh, bring him out on the field. So I have the materials for another Borogar Dragon if I need to. I also have the materials to flip him down. Okay. Whew. So I'm finally going to get an A and D changer in the grave. Which will be good because I'm really lacking ways to just get my cards in the graveyard. So this card and this card will bring it out over here so I can free up my zone. And then I'll use this card to flip Morphine Jar face down. And I have a Book of Taiyu in hand, so let's save all of these cards because Instant Fusion is another flip down, Card Destruction is just excellent stuff, and then Book of Taiyu to flip it up. You fool, count your cards. I have 15, he has 8. Okay, he has 3 cards left. Game over. Easy win. And that was, uh, okay, wow. That was a full powered dinosaur deck. I was able to stop them with a, <laughs> draw it into three Book of Eclipses. Okay, that was, that was good. You see, that's a better one to put on the clip channel, not, not the one where I lost. That would make a much better clip. People like to see me win duels more than they like to see it lost. Add Zeus? Okay, I'll add Zeus to it. <laughs> but you guys saw that. I played through a, a full power dinosaur deck and won. This version of the deck is legit. You have to... You have to agree to that. No, I crafted three of those. I'll get rid of Masquerita. Okay. Add a tuner too? Are there any good tuners? Tuner... What deck should Hero use? A zombie deck? Oh, I didn't know someone already made a thing. Oh, okay. Barrier, Statue Stun, Vinobi Naga Turbo, Girl Feet, Red Eyes Fuse. <laughs> I love how no one voted on Red Eyes. <laughs> really? Zombie deck? What kind of zombie deck? Like Baylor Drotch? Glow Up Bulb? Ash is a tuner? It is a tuner, but I don't need Ash. Hmm, are there any... No, it needs to be level 3 or lower. 
7k point. Wait, someone spent 7k points for a zombie deck? Holy hell. So, what kind of uh, uh, zombie deck do you want, Boro Load? Eld Lich Sirenui? I have all the cards for it, I guess. <laughs> One second. Mm. I need to add in a tuner. Preferably one that can special summon itself from the hand, just in case. Um. Mm. Mm. Why are there no tuners that special summon themselves from the hand? Eldlit Shiranui. Have you considered removing the dangers? I think you have too many in this deck. No. I need the dangers. They're crucial. Although I can remove one of them. I'm just thinking of a good level 3 or lower um, tuner monster that I can special summon for my hand or graveyard. None of these are very good though. Spore is uh, banned in this game, I believe. Crusadia Arborea is a tuner. Crusadia. Oh, it's a level 3 tuner, too. That works. Okay, the deck is good to go. Spore is legal? Someone told me it was illegal. Oh. I thought you guys meant glow up bulb. Uh, I don't think I play any other plants in the deck, do I? Yeah, I don't have any other plants. I can't use it. <laughs> that would be a good option, too, though. Any of the Ad Emancipators? Uh, how do you spell Ad Emancipators? If only your opponent controls a monster, spell some of this card from your hand. They need to be a level 3 or lower. Level 4 or lower, non-tuner rock monster. <laughs> ah, I think I'm good. This version of Empty Jar is impeccable. I was AFK, is it a zombie deck? <laughs> no, not yet. I spent my last few points betting against dual logs. This can't possibly go bad. You should never vote against me because I am a winner. How about Plague Spreader Zombie? <gasps> Perfect. Why is Plague Spider Zombie a normal? Create new. Okay, so zombie deck one. Zombie, 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 zombie. There it is. Triple Golden Lord. And you said Shiranui's? I think I have all of the... Of the Skull Servant cards. Yep. I literally have full Skull Servant package. 
Fun fact, Duel Onks has never lost a duel. Shiranui? Okay. Shirai. Shira. Is it not Shirai Nui? It's Shira Nui. Mmm. Do I have them all? Yep, I have all of the Shira Nui cards. I'm gonna play all of them. Especially the bad ones. Okay. Eldritch is a girl? Yeah. Snow? <gasps> I should play the Eldritch fusion monster. Whoa. Is Eldlich strong? Eldlich is very strong, yes. Wakero. Special summon from your hand or graveyard. Eld Lich Eld Lich Where's the card that lets me fusion summon it? What's the name of the Eld Lich card that summons this one? I can't find it. Polymerization, seven cities. Seven? Why is this not showing up when I type in Eldlich stuff? It's called Verte Ondaconda. Can Verte bring him out? This doesn't have fusion in its name though. The Golden City. Wait, can this card not be searched? No, it has Golden Land in its name. It's searchable. Eldritch Fusion doesn't have Eldritch in its text. Oh, that's annoying. It's technically not an Eldritch card since it doesn't have it in its text. It is searchable. Well, if it's searchable, then I don't need to play three copies of it. Okay, is this are these good ratios for for Shiranui? How do you play Shiranui? Let me look this up real quick. Zareth Mortis. Shiranui. Shiranui explained. The Shiranui Archetype, Knights of the Shiranui, Shiranui Post-Dimension Force. What's Dimension Force? Shiranui Deck Profile. <laughs> hmm, Facts and Opinions, Udria Rushia. I don't care about that. Dual Replays. You Synchro Spam? I know how you play it in Dual Links, but I don't know how to play it in normal Yu-Gi-Oh. Shiranui, uh-huh. Tribrigade gets OTK'd by Shiranui's Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duels. Ooh, I want to see that. Let me speed this up. Playback speed two times. He's talking. I'm looking at this deck list profile. It looks way different from mine. Oh, there's a Shiranui trap card. Ooh, sword style. Apparently they play one copy of this for some reason. I'm not sure why. They play Mirror Force. That's a bad card. Ooh, they play one of those vampires. I like that. Vampire. They play one Fraudulent. <laughs> they only play uh, one copy of this. How many Spectral Swords? They have three. 
They have three of these. They have three of these for some reason. They don't have any old man, so I'll remove mine. They have a Gizmek Orochi for some reason. Okay, this is good. And should I play three copies of Solemn Judgment? No, I don't need it. No Unizombie? Do I need Unizombie? They don't have Unizombie in this one. Uni. Should I play Mezuki? I don't think I need these cards. You need Ghost Meets Girl? What's that? Ghost. They do have one of these in their deck over here, too. What does it do? Your opponent controls a monster, discard a zombie monster, special someone cheer a new monster with a different name from your deck or graveyard. Also, you cannot special summon monsters except zombie monsters for the rest of this turn. After this card resolves, you can activate one of these effects per turn. That's decent, I guess. Unizombie and Mizuki are great tech options. Um... Hmm... Mezuki. Mezuki. I have a royal flush version of Mezuki. Okay. We'll go with this. If, you, if this card's in your graveyard and you control two more Shuri and monster in different names, you can spell summon this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. If this card is banished, you control one zombie monster you control. You gain 600 attack until the end of this turn. Uh, this doesn't seem very good. I can probably remove that. This one, I know it destroys if it's banished. What is this normal summon? Special summon a monster from your hand or graveyard? Seems good. I know what Solitaire does. Squire summons from the deck, right? Yeah. Uh, what does Spectral Sword do? I mean, I know what Spectral Sword does. I don't know who Spectral Sword Shy is. You can tribute this card, then target two of your banished zombie monsters, except your new shade. Including a Shiryu no monster, special summon defense position, but their effects are negated. Also, you cannot summon except zombie monsters for the rest of this turn. Should probably play the Mayakashi Link 4. Okay. <laughs> Absolute Zero. I do love Absolute Zero. She won me a game. Alright, which fusion monsters, synchros, are they playing? So they have two of these. They have one of these. They only have one of these. They only have two of these. They don't have any of these. Huh? Vampire. Vampire suck. Um, they don't have a Vendred Slayer. They have the Link 4. No, I think they have one of the other ones. My, uh... Kashi... No, they have the Link 4 in theirs as well. They also have some Rank 4s? What the hell? Let's see. Link Xyz Zombie Monster. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I forgot about Cyframe Lord Omega. Obviously, Cyframe Lord Omega, he's the best uh, zombie monster. The Vendred Link, which is pretty good. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I can really use him, though, because I only have one copy of Mezuki. I'll play him. I know Savior's good. <laughs> Amvrax? I'm, I don't really have enough cards to go into that. Striker Dragon, no Doom King Baylor Drot. I don't have a field spell. And I only have one copy of Zombie World because it's a UR for some reason. Hi, Duologs, finally got your stream. Hello there, Atrizic. They're on the Orcus engine? No! I think this is good. Eldlich Shiranui. Okay. My experience with Shiranui's involves dual links. I need to read these cards real quick. <laughs> You can only special summon this card once per turn. If special summoned, you can target one monster in the field, change his battle position. If this card is banished, special summon a token. Okay, so it comes to the field. It can change battle position, summons a token if it's banished. 
Um, once per turn, during the player's turn, target one of your banished zombie monsters, shuffle into your deck, and if you do, change the dimensions in all monsters your opponent controls with attack less than or equal to the monsters. If this card is banished, you can target one face-up monster your opponent controls, it loses 500 attack. <laughs> Special summon once per turn. Once per turn, banish one face-up monster you control or in your graveyard, and then apply these effects in sequence depending on what the monster was when it was banished. If it was any of these, zombie, you can have all monsters you control gain 300. Fire, destroy one spell trap card in the field. Synchro, destroy one monster on the field. Okay, so if you banish a Shiranui Synchro monster, you get to activate all three of those. Um, if this card is special summoned, you can banish a zombie monster from your graveyard. This card gains attack equal to the banished monster's original attack until the end of this turn. If this card on the field is destroyed by battle or card effect and sent to the graveyard, Target one of your banished zombie monsters with zero defense, return it to the graveyard. And finally, Sun Saga. If this card special summoned, you can return any number of your zombie synchro monsters that are banished or in the graveyard to the extra deck. Then, destroy cards your opponent controls equal to the number of cards returned. If a zombie monster you control would be destroyed by battle or card effect, banish a sheer no monster from your graveyard instead. Oh, that's pretty good, but he's like, you need to set up for that. Okay, uh, cannot be destroyed by card effects. No, Synchro Monsters cannot be destroyed by card effects. Fire Monsters cannot be destroyed by battle. During your opponent's turn, quick effect, target one of your banished zombie Synchro Monsters, special summon to a zone this card points to. Oh my god, this card's good. What if the one TDL duel when he was using Mayakashi Bone Tower Mill was the TDL from the future? <laughs> that would be hilarious if I went against Bone Tower Mill with this deck. Alright, I'm good to go. Any copies of the Book of Life? No, I don't need it. Oh, I need to collect my stuff, though. Claim all rewards. 70 gems. Nice. Don't forget Zeus. I, I don't need Zeus in this deck. There's no XEs. Prediction will be ending soon. Change decks. We're gonna go with... <laughs> Why the fuck is the digital bug deck selected? Eld Lich Shiranui. Let's go. I have no staple cards, so I lose immediately to any meta decks. Win the coin flip? Oh yeah, I guess if I win the coin flip, I have a chance to not lose instantly. Skill Saga's effect works for Yoko, the Mayakashi monster. Huh. Skill Saga. That's the final one, right? Oh, because it banishes in order to protect. Okay. Did I go first? Yay! Full combo. Solitaire. Into... Into Unizombie. And then I win. Yeah, I knew there was an Ash. Whatever, whatever. I still get Eldlich. Almost double the votes for a win? If you think I'm going to win with this deck, you're crazy. May the non-believers win, Prage. Oh wow, that's a lot of channel points if you win. A blue eyes deck, huh? Tribute a zombie, destroy two cards in the field. Then banish one sheer monster from your deck. Holy sh That's a three pop. You won, GG. But he's playing. Uh, I should probably go into Conquistador now. Because I don't want him to destroy Eld Lich. Is Conquistador a, uh, a zombie? Can I tribute it with Solo Slash? It is a zombie. Nice. Boonga Boonga Blue Eyes player. 
the melody of the Awakened Dragon, Spirit Dragon. You think a Blue Eyes player can defeat Eldlich Shiranui's? I see a lot of Blue Eyes players. It's because Blue Eyes is very popular. You voted he will lose? Yeah, I'm winning this one. Like, the only way I'm losing this is if I throw the game. End phase? I thought he would do more than that. Let's get another... Oh! Oh, I could get an Eldlich, or I can get another Solitaire. I forgot it's any card. Oh! Cursed Eld Lich of the Golden Land. You cannot declare an attack except with zombie monsters. I'm only going to be using zombie monsters. They bricked? Probably. <laughs> it is brick eyes. Select a monster to set on the field. Seven cities of the Golden Land. Activate Cursed Eldland. Select a card to add from your deck to your hand. Activate Seven Cities of the Golden Land. Uh, I think it's alive now. Was level five or higher zombie monster. So we can go into Golden Lord. We can use... The Eldritch in my hand and Conquistador on the field. Does he have a summon animation? Whoa! I've never seen this card summoned before. What does this do? It destroys a set card? That's amazing! Oh, it cannot be activated this time. Oh, that's good too. Okay, and then we'll go into Solitaire, Tributing Solitaire. Going into Unizombie. Activate Unizombie's effect. Uh, target itself to increase its level by one. Sending Mezuki to the grave. The Royal Flush Mezuki. Activate Mezuki from the graveyard. Special summon Solitaire. Stop telling me that I need to do other things. And then I can go into a level 8 Shiranui. Shiranui Shogu Saga. Activate his effect. Banish a card from the grave. We will banish Solitaire. And what is Solitaire's banish effect? Uh. He doesn't have one? Oh, it summons other solitaires. Gotcha, gotcha. I mean, it summons not other solitaires, it summons other cards. Summon to the field? Yeah! Oh no, he might win. Of course I'm gonna win! Select a card to activate. I don't know what the card does. Select a card to send to the graveyard. Ooh. Shiranui Synthesis. And then I can activate Black Awakening. You have game on board, are you BMing? No, you never know if they have a Mirror Force because it's a Blue Eyes player. Oh, he can't activate it. <laughs> I forgot I turned it off. <laughs> Just kill him? I didn't know! I wasn't BMing, I swear! <laughs> Literally be a I forgot that I turned off his back row! What does the Eldledge Fusion even do? I don't know. I, I think it's immune to destruction. Let me read it. Um, this card's name becomes Eldritch Golden Lore on the field. It cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. Okay, I was half right. You can tribute one zombie monster, then target one face-up monster your opponent controls. Take control of it, but it cannot attack or activate its effect this turn. 
Oh, 3,800. This thing's good. Why does no one play it? Three sphere modes. Meta deck. This is a meta deck? Are you guys crazy? All right, let's duel. So, uh, the deck list I picked a lot of my Shiranui cards from is from a video that has 19 views. Puggies. So if you guys want to give it a watch and tell him thanks for providing an excellent deck list. There it is. <laughs> is because blue eyes went against brick eyes. You think I can't beat Utopia? This deck opened Shiranui Solitaire. This is basically game over. What the hell is Astralotopia? If an XC's monster in the field, special this card from your hand. You can send one face up card from your hand or field to the graveyard. Add an XC's automat Zexel number spell trap from your deck to your hand. You can use each of these effects once per turn. That's pretty good. No, you can't. Too many negates. Watch me. Witness me. You guys will be like, wow, I can't believe you played through three negates. Your skills in dual monsters is impeccable, and I respect you. Okay, maybe I went a little bit too far. I can't ever hear you guys say that you respect me. That makes me think, are there any chats? Are there any streams where there, the chat actually likes the streamer? <laughs> no? I didn't think so. I respect you. Well, that's, that's good that you can lie. Boral, load, savage dragon. Pure fantasy. I don't watch MBT. You didn't watch MBT's recent video where he plays Utopia? I really liked his uh, Ghost Trick deck. I thought about almost respecting you once, and then what happened? Yes, these chants are called simps. Are we abusive to you? Yeah, you guys make me play Shiranui. That is the the most oppressed I've ever been. Ghost Trick Lyrilis XYZ Cheese. I almost respected you until you decked yourself out a few minutes ago. Shut up. No one saw that. That was a, a fantasy. Hmm. Should I add Eldritch to my hand? Yeah. We'll activate Eldritch the Golden Lord. Sending a. Uh, Swallow to the grave, apparently. Which one makes it so he can't be targeted? I think it's this one, right? Card effects. Cannot be destroyed by your opponent card effects. This one's better. Your decking out was propaganda? Yeah. Wow, oh, he's gonna negate it. You fool! You absolute buffoon! Hmm, actually, how do I play this? Shiranui Solitaire next! Numbers protection. Is he gonna use his, his negate? No? We'll go into Unizombie. And then let's see if he negates Unizombie's effect. Yeah, there it is. And if you do have its effect, 
I'm gonna use his effect anyway. Okay, yeah, I knew that wouldn't work. Held Lich the Golden Lord. Special summon a monster to the field. <laughs> Select a card to send to the grave. Hmm. Eld Lich the Golden Lord. I bet he didn't see that coming, right? Who who would see that coming? Destroy one spell or trap card on the field. Destroy one monster on the field. Are you her X's twin brother? Yes. Okay. Uh, if this card is banished, target one tree and monster in your graveyard. Add it to your hand. If this card is banished, special summon Shiranui's that are banished. Hmm. We'll banish this one. Destroy one card on the field. Yes. Select a card to activate. What do you think is the best archetype for grass? Snow. How come it wasn't destroyed? Does he prevent his card from getting destroyed? What prevented the destruction? ZW protects. That's the one I targeted though. Mmm. So I can't destroy his cards. I thought this card protected the monster it's attached to from destruction effects, not itself. Okay, so, there's no out to this. You say Samurai outs it, how? He negates the destruction with the trap. The other one protects the equip cards. Read the first effect. I did read the effect. And just kaiju it. Ow. Oh no, my eyeball. Someone said Samurai can banish during the damage step? Which one is Samurai? This one? You can banish one zombie from your graveyard, and if you do, banish any monster that battles this card after damage calculation. Okay. Looks like the doubters are back. Okay. Well, I don't think we need to see him play this through. I thought you knew this from Duel Links, Mr. Logs. They usually just go into a whole bunch of synchro monsters and blow up your field. I have had my cards banished by that card before, but I've forgotten so you guys are mentioned it the one time I believe you guys are just contrarians
bet up, this is gonna be an easy win. I made back 10% of what I lost earlier. Any good meme decks to play? I think I can run Utopia, but any fun deck you guys can recommend? Thunderclap Skywolf, that one's fun. Man, not playing any hand traps or going second cards is killing me. You go too fast from one match to another? Well, the matches themselves are long, so it's fine. Easy peasy. Cursed Eldland. Shirinui Sword. Max C. Maximum C. I'll use this quickly to avoid your Max C. You're not getting any cards from me, you stupid idiot. Can't do predictions during matches? Why not? Sure you can, that's how I do them. As soon as the match starts. Hmm. Otherwise we can just cheat? How do you cheat? Ash Blossom on Eldland? I can just do that again. Nerval? <gasps> Tri Brigade? Does Shirinui work well with Eldlich? It, it's working alright so far. Get crunked. Stinky, the dual logs will lose. Psh. Not if I banish their cards before they can go into the Shirai. Fractal sends itself from the hand to the graveyard in order to send Kit to the grave. Kit is sent to the grave. Kit in the graveyard is going to let him search out a Tri Brigade monster. Oh no, it sends another Tri Brigade monster. Nervil is the one who searches out. They now have the graveyard perfectly set up. And then they have Curess, who can come out into the field and destroy shit. Okay. And they're going to use the effect in order to go into... Hopefully they don't go into Shirai immediately, because that will suck. Nope, they go into Shirai immediately. Oh no. Shirai. Shirai activates its effect. I chain Shirinui's Swallow Sword in response, banishing Elden Lore, destroying these two cards. Because he can't banish my Eldlich if it's in the graveyard. And I'll, I'll, I'll not summon the other one because I don't want him to banish my Eldliches. Select a card to banish. Okay, what does this one do if it's banished? Draw one card, then discard one card. Ooh, I like that. Easy clap. What is he gonna banish? The trap card? Yeah, I was. I figured that would happen. Shirai will search because it got sent to the graveyard. But I get a draw and then discard one card. Imagine if you can bet during a race. Wait until the last 100 meters and pick the person who's in the lead. That's why predictions need an end before match starts so people will just vote last second. I disagree. I think they can vote during the duel. But then you turn off the votes after the first turn is over. Or before you know the outcome. Or at the very least, just see what your opponent's playing. Or turn it off very early on in the duel, but not let it go for too long. 
I personally would like to see the deck Dual Logs is playing against. It's Tri Brigade. Did he search out a uh, Revolt? No. Whoa. No revolt. <gasps> Another Maxi. Maxi, does it matter if I win this turn? I don't know if I can win this turn though. Select a card to add from your deck to your hand. Hmm, in order for Eldritch to summon itself, you have to send a card you control to the grave, right? Okay. We can use Eldlixir of the White Sanguin to set a Conquistador on the field. Uh, deer in your main phase, fusion summon one, using zombie monsters from your hand. I can't actually go into it. So we'll send Cursed Eldland to the graveyard. Special summon my one Eldlich. Activate Cursed Eldland. Select a card to send to the grave. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I can do this. And this. And, oh, I can go into Skill Saga. <gasps> I can go into a Vendred Slayer. No, I'll go into a Vendred Slayer. Oh, it only activates if you attack a monster? Well, that's lame. But the rigging is part of the fun. Are you guys rigging things again? Harpy's Feather Duster. I guess. <laughs> Wait, did you have dogs? No, I'm watching them. Wow, seriously, a third backseat. I'm dead. Going into Zeus? No? Trident? What? Why is he not going into another Shirai? He's trying to pop Eldlich? That'd be funny. Fractal. I think it ran out of Shirag. 
There's no way he only has one. What? Why are they going into Chakanine? For a Link Summon, maybe? <laughs> Zeus plays? They're all in defense position. They can't go into Zeus if they don't attack. Utopic? It can't be used as an XC's material this turn, though. The only thing you can use with it is like a Tribute or a Link Summon. No Boar? He put Boar in defense position. For no reason. Um, what the hell? I finally caught a stream and watching the clips on YouTube? Why, thank you, Toxic. Fun fact, my clip channel uh, is doing better than my World of Warcraft channel, which has uh, 275,000 subs. And clips are the future! Although I don't know why anyone watches my clips, so... Uh, so not sure about that. Still has a chance. He probably has Tri Brigade Revolt set. He's using it a little bit early though, that's for sure. Wow, Tri Brigade Zoo player doesn't have Zeus and only one Shiraig? There's no way he only has one Shiraig. If it wasn't for the clips, I wouldn't have learned about the feet deck. What feet deck? Oh, he can't even go into Shirai because he can only get three cards out. He can only go into Silver... whatever the fuck his name is. Silver Sheller. Select a card to special summon. Unizombie. What does this card do? During your opponent's main phase, quick effect, special summon a level 4 lower beast monster from your hand or graveyard, but its effects are negated. Also, it's returned to the hand. <laughs> if this card's sent to the graveyard, make all your monsters your opponent controls lose 300 attack for each monster type you control. Mm. Love your kips, they make me start my day with a smile. Excellent. It's a good thing I upload them in the morning then. And at night. He uses that to trigger Shirag whenever. Oh, oh yeah, because Shirag also triggers. Gotcha. Okay. Unizombie. Target self. Infinite impermanence. Okay. Why didn't they put infinite impermanence in this zone right here? Okay, Spectral Sword. Tribute. Shiranui. Thank you, KP Blazer. Special summon this dude. Activate. can go into this card too. I can destroy all of his cards. Eld Elixir of the Black and Awakening. Special summon an Eldlich from the deck? No, I'm gonna go into a Frolian. Make sure to avoid the imperm column. 
Activate seven cities. Go into Golden Lord. Get rid of this one and this one. The Golden Lord. Tribute one zombie. Um, set a Golden Land spell. We'll set a Conquistador. And then I'll activate Eldritch the Golden Lord. Send seven cities to the grave. Okay, and then I'll activate Shirasiga, banishing this card from the grave. Increase all their attacks, destroy one spell trap on the field, and destroy one monster. There we go, and activate this card's effect. Select one monster your opponent controls, lower its attack by 500 points. Okay, I can steal a card. I wish I had one more card so I could steal. But I think we're we're good to go. Activate this. Pay 1800 life points. <laughs> I had game this whole time. <laughs> I didn't even know that. Oh my god, my opponent. What the hell, man? Match history. Let me see his deck. Hoggers. He only... No, he had two Shirags. I don't know why he didn't go into the other one. He had Zeus. What? Good to see Eldritch doing some combos. I love the, the Eldritch fusion monster. He's cool. And again, I didn't notice his life points. I thought I, he had 8,000. If I knew he only had 4,000, I still would have done exactly what I did because that was the correct way to win. That was the worst tri brigade player. He's maybe new to it. You guys, you guys are mean. Okay, Eldritch Shiranui. That worked. I'm gonna play a, a sky. I'm gonna play one sky wolf duel, and then I'm gonna call it quits because I just realized it's past midnight. <laughs> one sky wolf duel. Let's go. Let's go. Oh man, I'm going first. Morphine Jar, please. I already played Morphine Jar. It's time for Pot of Extravagance. Ooh. What are your thoughts on the Cloudian archetype? Oh, I need to make a Cloudian deck. Remember when y'all made the dual logs make a top 10 waifu cards video a few years ago and he just made it explaining why he wouldn't do it? Oh yeah. There's some people who'll be like, you dual logs, you, you made the, the waifu video saying you wouldn't do it and yet you watch VTubers? Curious, I'm so smart. And I was like, yeah, you got me there. I do be watching VTubers. Ooh, a vampire deck. Ooh. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna lose. You guys voted that I'll lose? With my Skywolf Vampire Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> I 
They're very attractive individuals in revealing outfits. Not just watching, Mr. Duologs is a simp. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> lore accurate vampire deck. This is a lore accurate vampire deck, alright. I have confidence. Man, he just plowed into my back row. This back row is nasty. Man, one of these days my nose is finally going to be unplugged. The lingering side effects of COVID. Artifact Sanctum. Imagine using Scythe just for its stats. <gasps> Seahorse! Seahorse searches out solar. And then solar. Activate solar's effect. Send Skywolf to the grave. Set this card in the field zone. And then attack for game. I have Skywolf live. I'm getting 2.1k on this. Yeah, there's no way I'm losing this. He's playing a lore accurate vampire deck. Is it possible to lose against lore accurate vampires? You should really be able to vote until the end of the first turn. Dude is playing lore accurate vampires. If they did that, then you guys would, uh, not vote for me. And you'd hurt my feelings. Ooh, Battery Man token. Vampire Brick? It's lore-accurate Vampire Brick. Get it right. <laughs> I didn't know you were streaming, followed a link from one of your YouTube videos, and now here I am. Wait, I had a YouTube video that linked you to your the Twitch? Was that one of the clip videos? Because all of them do that, yeah. It, it had to have been one of the clips. Okay, and then... And then... Two monsters with different names. Just go for it. Okay, I wasn't sure if I had enough damage. <laughs> I was like, oh no. <laughs> My quick math isn't high enough. The Scythe Lock and Master Duel? I'm sick, I can't escape. Yeah, no one uses it because there's more broken shit you can do instead. Oh, <gasps> I ranked up to gold tier three. Whoa. Okay, I gotta go now. It's my bedtime. I, I keep going to sleep really late at night. Hey, thank you, Q Haku Ninefold. People picked four times their points. You guys thought I was gonna lose? Oh, I guess the way he worded it is kinda weird. Damn, just tuned in. Yeah, it's past midnight for me. Okay, time to go. Goodbye, everybody. Hard Lego streamer, you want to rate him? Is he? Okay. Sounds good. Start raid.